Hey guys, Aaron here with another fountain pen review. And today, um, I'm not actually reviewing the pen that you see in front of you because I've already done a review on this pen. And if you would like to watch the full review, I will post a link to that in the description. Um, so that way you guys can watch it. Um, but the pen that you see in front of you is the Platinum 3776. And I did a review on this pen on July 9th was when I posted the video. And I actually did the review the same day that I posted. And since then, I have not written with this pen. Um, this is actually the longest I've ever gone without writing with a fountain pen, so a little over a month. And, um, and there was a reason why. I wanted to kind of test out to see um, if a specific engineering design uh, that Platinum marketed towards their 3776 line, if it really works and it's efficient. So if, if those of you that watched my former review, you may remember me talking about the slip and seal cap or slip and seal mechanism. And because this uh, Burgoyne is a translucent material, you can actually see that inner cap liner as well as the spring that allows it to be a slip and seal. So as you sit there and you take the pin out of this cap, you'll notice that the spring is going to, um, the tension's going to loosen. When you put the pin back in the cap, the spring's gonna tighten. What that does is it's actually putting pressure back, pushing this cap liner down and putting pressure back on, into the section, which will create like an airtight seal in there. So the idea behind it is, is it's not supposed to allow this nib and feed to dry out. So I know Platinum markets the, that this slip and seal mechanism can keep the nib and feed from drying out for up to two years. So it's only been a month for this first test, but I thought it would be interesting to just kind of let this pin sit and see how well it writes after a month. Um, after this test, I may even decide to do it longer next time. Um, so this will be the first time this pin has been uncapped. I'm going to do it on camera and we're going to write with it. And I was going to do it to where you guys could hopefully, get some more light in here, see that spring move. I think it's a really interesting design. Hopefully you guys can see it on camera. So you can kind of see that spring move and that it actually kind of retract back down. Now let's see how the pin writes. Writes very well. We'll say one month test. For those of you that are interested, this interested, this is the broad nib. This is uh, I like this nib a lot. Um, it's not you're not going to get a lot of line characteristics like you would with uh, say a Pilot nib necessarily. It's not a very soft nib but it is a very very consistent writer. So this is after one month of it being or not being written with, not even being uncapped at all, literally just sitting in my little cigar box um, by its lonesome. And um, typically, you know, when I ink up pens, um, I ink them up with the purpose of writing with them so they don't go more than a week at the most without being written with. Um, so I think for, for sitting for one month, obviously this pen is, it's writing like I just inked it up. So I think it's a really, um, awesome design that they have you know you may say well i'm not going to let my pen sit for an extended period of time but again i think it's really interesting so i think for the next test um, i may let this pen sit now for about another three months and then i'll do another follow-up video after it's set for that period of time and, let, and then we'll see how the pen writes at that point um for my next review i was going to share with you guys i have a, a pen that i'm actually pretty excited to review i've been writing with it every single day since i got it and um, it's quickly become one of my favorite pens and um, i'm going to show it to you guys real quick and you guys can tell me what type of pen it is in the comments section and then there's a little bit of a surprise or a twist with a pen uh, when i'll do the review that i'll reveal to you guys so here's the pen. I'm sure most of you already know what it is, just seeing it. Um, but I did want to show it to you guys. I will do a full review on this pen. It is 
a really cool pen, really, really interesting. I love the filling mechanism with the pen. But uh, let me know if you guys know what pen it is in the comment section. I know most of you fountain pen junkies are definitely going to know uh, what type of pen that is. And um, I have never been a huge fan of red, but I'm starting to collect more red pens. And this pen is one of the reasons why that material is just beautiful. I know it does come in other colors, and trust me, I will probably eventually own other colors. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, comment down below what you think. Um, let us know if you have one of these pins, um, if you've let it sit for an extended period of time, whether to be you know by accident or to test it out. Um, but I think it's kind of cool. It's set for a month this time. Um, I'll let you guys know when I do the three-month review for it, and I'll post it on here. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.